Hello everybody, I'm Avian. We're playing Golden Sun, Dark Dawn, and we're about to explore Tomfin. Your ship looks a little beat up, but I have to admit, I'm impressed how smoothly she sails. Emperor Unan recently spent some sun in ships northwards. So they're a little late getting home. Gee, I wonder why. Those Lemurians are amazing. The ships they rebuilt for us are absolute amazing crafts. Lemurians rebuilt some things. Anything good over here? Is this dude? The ships were the pride of the sauna, but after the Lemurian refitting, we were ashamed of how much better they were. I guess Lemuria is open to trade in later. Okay. Well, we already know there's stuff up here and stuff. Okay, so that's leaving. So we want to go the other direction into the city. Okay. Go this way first. Have you seen the captain from Lemuria? He is no mere traitor. He carries himself like a warrior. That's because he is a warrior if we're talking about peers. I would love to see another one so that we can get to see what happens with uh, Rafe's sister and peers. Excuse me. It's a strange time when Lord Sun and Lady Moon cannot work out their differences. A strange ship came in recently, apparently from some place called Lemuria in the south. Never heard of the place, so it's probably far away. They have intriguing merchandise, though. Okay, I'm intrigued. Oh, we can get up here. Ah, and there's a chest. Alright. At some point, I'm gonna have to go through and redistribute my uh, inventory. To the east lies the land of hermits and sages. Emperor Ko once sent men there for the secret of immortality. Princess Himi of Yamata supposedly has amazing powers. Her parents are heroes, so maybe. She's right there with us. Right there with us. Okay. Box. Okay, so. That is that side there. Over, I love this canal structure city. Totally gonna borrow this for a D and D campaign at some point. Ko is no longer Emperor of Sana. Thank goodness, the old emperor was a fiend and a warmonger. Okay, we can we can just sleep. Okay, we're okay for now. I think. Lord Sun was always so bright, but now I can look at him because Lady Moon blocks the light. Emperor Odon wants to stop the fight between Lord Sun and Lady Moon. Okay. So there's something with... Ah, I can't get up there. Okay. Should be able to... Try to move... <laughs> I want to climb up this tree, and I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Okay. If anyone can heal our nation, it is Emperor Unan. He is wise and kind and loved by his people. I got the wrong voice on that character. Oh, well. The old Emperor Ko left war. We warred everywhere, and our young men were sent off to fight. Emperor Ko died a few years ago. Luckily, King Wu was away, and Unan could become emperor. Let's see how many Sung Segas we've got. I'm trying to remember if I'm looking for a other one or not. Where we are? Items, items, items. There we are. Reef. 
it has four of them. I think there's six of them. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out for them. Let's see. Ooh. Medicine of sauna. A medicine called ginseng is said to refresh the mind and spirit. And the correct dosage, it will also cure stomachache, headache, fevers, and oop, and nui. All we ever eat at my house is fish. I wonder what they eat in other countries. There we go. Sada used to be on a plateau with no access to the sea. Now we eat all the fish we can eat. But there's... Here's Graham. When I was young, the only fish I got was drag carp. Now we got fresh cod, tuna, and what have you. Okay. And... Is there... There's no way back there. Oh, but that was nice. There we go. So now we can go figure out how to, yeah, we want to go up the middle now. There's five. So Karis has five. Okay, so I'm gonna rearrange a little bit. I'm gonna give this. Oh, I need to actually be. Yeah, I need to click on him. Give. And that way, Reef will have all the books. I'm pretty sure I've got all of them actually now that I see that Karis has five. I thought maybe there were six. Yeah. We will do a special thing at the end with all the sunset. Let's just get them all, all at once. And I'm just going to verify really quick that that was the last one. Yes. Okay. B. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go to the middle. Oh, there's Jin. We have Tom Thorne and show the light of the Lord's sun year round. But in the western lands, the sunlight is gone. We find it quite eerie. Okay. Okay. Una had become emperor only recently after the great civil war following Emperor Ko's death. We lost many sun and territories, and our colonists were killed. It saddened it for Una. Oh, I want to go around you. <laughs> I'm having trouble navigating. All right, no, down, over here, over here. So we gotta get across there. With Ko and Woe gone, Sadan is peaceful at last. It's a relief not to be at war. Emperor Unan has given orders not to go west of Tom Fun unless absolutely necessary. I have too much to carry, so wait for the ferry boat, but it never comes. Okay, so we gotta get the ferry boat somehow. Oh, that's a chest of. Nothing in the drawers. Anything? Does it say the same thing? Yeah, okay. His house is, yeah, he's right. He's got a lot to carry. Go around the side. Okay, over here. Over here. Over here. Okay, so that is. We get, there we go. Now we're on the roof. Get over here. Be close enough to use. No. So something happens where we are 
able to jump around here. And I need him to move the fairy. There's a reason we can climb over here. I know there's a reason we can climb over here. I'm feeling it has something to do with getting that gin. So I think like if we can get the fairy over here, it'll line things up so that we can Since the Revolution of Morgul, we can't get goods from there anymore. Hard times are ahead. Alright. Explore over here. Emperor Hunan has closed the port until recently, so news of Emperor Ko's death will not spread. The order came right after the Emperor met with that fourth visitor. Or was it? Oh, it might have been Pierce's advice. And this wall extends west of Sana. It was made of ancient days, like all the best stuff. I wonder why they built the endless wall. For that matter, I wonder who built it. I knew something had to be good if we kept checking the drawers. Okay, let's go up and talk to that kid. Rumors say there's a really valuable gem hidden in Lady Hinashu's room. I wonder how valuable. I wanted to see. There we go. Lady Hinashu, the son and royal is mother to Ruku and Hyoju. Besides having lost her husband to work, both of her children are missing. Except we do know where her kids are. On their way back, hopefully. Okay, so there is something we've got to do to get the boats to move. It's a temple. Power and Balisk, the power of sleeping Malik Balisk could revolutionize the world. But this new form of power would devastate where does we know it's the tower unless we remain below. Too late, too little, too late. <laughs> Sorry, whoever wrote the book, we ruined it. Let's see. Endless wall. Barrier was built by ancient sonnets and consumed all their resources. But why was the world like wall built? While none are certain, some say it leads to a hidden sacred temple. Well, that's good to know. Alright. So. Yeah. Up. So there's gotta be. Oh, I know. I have an idea. We're gonna try something really quickly. See if it works. I mean, get in line with it. Jump over here. Sveta, I need you to hit somebody for me. See if this will work. Yes, we're in range. Ha <laughs> ha, we got him awake. Wasn't a very nice way to wake him up, I'm sorry. Oh, it's already time to get the fairy moving. Okay, so that gets the boat up there. So now maybe we can get the gym. All the way up. Oh, there we go. Yes. Now we can get across here. Hey, be my friend. Yeah. Tinder. Let's see, Tinder. Indomitable fire spirits encountered in Tom Phone. Tinder can restock last fire with a perfect re reliability and an unconscious ally. So it's another revive. Okay. So now let's get back and we'll go up to the palace where I think 
for getting the map that we need and telling everybody that their kids are okay. Maybe they'll be there. Maybe they beat us back. Ooh, lily pad hopping! I mean, you know, anytime we see lily pads, we gotta hop across. So this is a way down. This is not a way up. So something back there. Such a pretty little pond, though. Okay. Alright. So... Let's see what they do. You know, let it, will you let us in? Oh, yes, the Marion captain told us to enter. Ah, so Pierce has been here. Sir so Matthew and friends, Emperor Unan awaits us in a study beyond the throne room. Well, we're going to go exploring first. Let's not stray into the shadow, but stay in the sun's sight as Emperor Unan instructs us. Lady Hinesho lives on the far side of the pond. She's sister-in-law to Emperor Unan. Okay. So we go. My job is to sound the gong if enemies attack. If I just ring it for fun, everybody gets mad. So that tells us we need to ring the gong for fun, right? Alright. If the gong sounds, I must respond immediately, so I never really relax. At the end of the day, I'm exhausted. Losing one child would have been hard enough, but both at once, my poor Lady Hinesho. Lady Hinesho smiles with her mouth, but not her eyes. I fear they won't smile until the children return. Lady Hinesho is faithful, or stubborn not to believe Hinesho is still alive. I wish I could agree. Let's see. The young girl is Rokyo's sister. She was held prisoner in Volansk in the aftermath of Morgul's revolution. She seems to inspire a fierce devotion in all who know her, as evidenced by her brother and the villagers of Tehrai. Okay, your kids are fine. I saw you, them. The others saw me. I must accept that Rokyo and Hushu are dead. This I cannot do. Rokyo, the member of San and Roya family, triggered the Great Eclipse in hopes of saving his sister Hujo. After his father was killed in Morgul's revolt, he escaped into Tebre village with his sister. If only my husband had not been slain, this Echo Shim would have found Hujo easily. Oh, we need that. Whatever that is. Only use some pairs. Each taps into the holder's life force to emit light and communicate with the other stone. My dearest Tina Show, at last I can say is that the locals have submitted to our just rule. I know your illness makes travel hard, but the children sh should see this place. Here's always Quan. Okay. Sveta. Can you give me any information? Sort of family for generations. I thought Hujo has one. Each shim will always find the other unless you cannot bring yourself to remove yours from your dresser. Okay, she's got it. So that's why we need to ring the gong. So let's go ring the gong and get that. We're going to get in trouble here. Maybe slap. I'm always asking Sveta to slap things. Everybody panics. Oh, they even got the waterfall going down the window there. Um, let's see. We're about to get this bird in trouble. Okay, we want to go very quickly get into this dresser. Okay. 
sorry. No, it was me. It wasn't you, but it was me. Okay. Oh, so we want to go into the back area here. Everyone is worried about Lady Hinoshu's children. The ship rescue ship has not returned. Emperor Udon's brother Quan was the Lord Mortal before he was killed by the Beastman Revolution. Though Sanan is now unified, the Emperor grieves so for his brother that he can barely speak. We got books. The mysterious land of Tupperang. Tupperang was an ancient country that one day vanished from Laird. Decades later, it abruptly reappeared aboard an enormous flying ship and having renamed itself the Zenith Tribe. Lady Hinoshu puts on a brave face, but no one can lose her children and husband and remain happy. Okay, kitchen. That was probably something in the dresser. Very tidy. Okay. And then back this way. And out this way. Oh, I see a chest. It. There's gotta be a way into it. That's blocked off. Okay. There's gotta be another way. on this is longer, yes. So that at least will get us down there once we figure out how to get back. So there's the cliff across the back there. There away. Hey. And that is a way down. Oh, okay, so if we can get up on the roof, maybe. Hey, let me around. I wanna leave. <laughs> Lady. Beep beep. Beep beep. <laughs> Am I stuck? <laughs> I got myself stuck. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> Is there ah oh, there's a door here. Okay, that's our answer. Oh, we gotta be careful. And we can jump across. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Now we can climb down and get it. Ooh! Dragon bow. There is a dragon bow in D&D. &D, and Susu, uh, who plays Tethys in our D&D &D campaign, is always asking if her character can eventually have a dragon bow. I have a feeling Brandy might give her one at some point. No, it's an oath bow she wants. Give to... Paris. Yes, dragon bow is much better than the possible. Give... Nobody needs that. Okay. 
Oh, and then we had... Somebody got... Some gloves and things. They give me the full... Okay, now it's not gonna... Let's give it to Eolio. And then there was a pair of knuckles or something that somebody had. Synergy rock, good for Yeah. Okay. There we go, it was the armlet. So I think that's, I think that's everything I needed to redistribute. All right, let's go back around. Now we can go upstairs and continue the story. guys were like, how'd you get out? Alright, so we're upstairs here. Lord Khan and Emperor Unan were as close as any brothers I've known. Then came the Morgul Revolution. Okay, so our person is probably up in here that we need. You wish to meet with Emperor Unan? Who is it? Oh, he got a whole library. Pardon me, but you are you not the Master Sage Crate? I am most pleased to have come. Please enter. Ah, uh, thank you for coming. We well, have. Yeah. Heard much of the wisdom of Emperor Unan. It is a great honor to meet you. And I, in turn, have heard much of the knowledge of the great scholar Creighton. The honor is mine entirely. May we assume, Your Majesty, that you already know of the eclipse across the continent. I had heard legends of it from a Morgul storyteller once, but nothing could have prepared me for the reality. When Sanon occupied Morgul, I visited my brother there for a time and learned much of its culture. As I understand it, we have whatever activated Luna Tower to blame for this catastrophe. We bear some of the responsibility that the consequences are beyond even our wildest dreams. Some of the responsibility. Well, it was the Tipperang, really, who were responsible. Tupperang, as in the self-styled Zenith tribe of Tupperang. But the one who actually turned it on was a Santa name boy named uh, Rokyo. That's right, he could only think about saving his sister, so we can't put too much blame on him. Rokyo and his sister. All oh, right, we had heard that Rokyo and Hu Zhu were somehow connected to the San and Royal family. <laughs> You're so clueless. What's the matter, Your Majesty? Rokyo is my brother's son. So Hu Zhu is my niece, yes. 
But at least now I know both were alive before the eclipse. I sent a ship to Morgul to rescue them once we had news they were there. And the ship! It has not returned. We were separated from them just before the eclipse. I hope they were able to avoid the monsters. I don't imagine there's any way of knowing. I got a good feeling about it. I'm sure they made it. I want nothing more than to see them alive again, but prior seems to be my only recourse. In any case, as Emperor, I cannot be seen to show too much emotion even over the loss of my own kin. But enough about my woes. May I be introduced to your companions? They are descendants of the famed warriors of Vale. This is Matthew, son of Isaac. Ah, uh, the warriors of Vale. If you please, Your Majesty, my name's Chorus. I'm Tyrell. I am called Reef, Your Majesty. I am not related to the warriors of Vale, but please call me Amity. I'm not related either. As you can clearly see, I'm Sveta of the Fang Tribe. I'm just Yolia. You all honor me with your presence. But now I must know, Creighton, what brings you and your companions here? What do you seek? Your Majesty, would you be kind enough to let us see the items in your army brought back from Morgul? Ooh, secret room! Er, your Majesty, what? This was part of Emperor Co's so-called Hind Road, by which he brought treasures into the country. I can think of no better use for them than to give them to those who fight the end of the Eclipse. So you would grant us treasures without even asking us why we want them? Are you not curious? I have looked at you and heard you speak. If you can bring the Eclipse to an end, no treasure is too dear. Ooh. All right, into the secret room. We got three chests here. Sun ringed Sveta. Psy crystal. Ah, Umbra gear. Okay. Let's get Might as well equip that. Alright, where are we supposed to come here for a map? I'll have to ask him about that in a second. Oh he's gone. Oh there he is. You are looking for the old map of Morgul. Sadly, I gave the map to my brother some time ago. If anyone has it now, it will be his son, Rokyo. Alright, well, <laughs> uh, that was useful. Uh, we still have some upper gear, though, so now we gotta go find Rokyo. I do have a feeling I know where he is because I do remember that part of the game. So now we're going to go back to the ship and reconvene with everybody and figure out what our next steps are. Right? Next steps? I wonder though. I'm going to do some exploring over here. So as much as I don't want to go up here because I don't like fighting these things, I do think that there is a cave up here, if I remember correctly. I could very well be wrong and we could just be, oof, ouch, I don't like fighting these things. 
See, he's only doing... Mm, look at the damage they're doing. It's not... Mm. Alright. Alright, Jen. And there goes Damatine. Okay, at least the gym seem to be doing things. Okay. Looking to see if I have anything that'll, yes, revive. Oh, nope. There we go. Okay, stunt. Stunt is good. Revive did not work. There we go. I said stand by. I didn't want to trade. I wanted to stand by. There we go. There we go. So this is... Okay, this is the entrance to the Endless Wall, which we are not ready for. Yes. I'm honestly, I'm gonna try to flee. Oh, okay. Okay, this is bad. Just reset the question. Okay. Yep, there is a cave. Okay, we gotta go around the other way. I did think there was a cave. I'm glad we found it. Okay, this one I hope is not as bad. Do a lot of <laughs> prep work.
So we need Himi's sight thing. There we go. There's the bridge. Here's our cave. Ooh. This is good. The adept must control emotion to maintain discipline and focus. Okay. So I can't see the map, but sometimes there's like... Yeah. Okay. This one's probably a mimic because it's right here in the middle. Oh, it's not. Okay. He's got pretty basic. Okay. All right, now we want to go back the other way. we can go across. Oh, I like this puzzle. I remember this puzzle. Uh, douse the fire of my rage. Blow away the mist of my longing. Dry the tears of my sadness. Okay, so that is not something quite yet. Hey, go right here. I'll check something too. It also just occurred to me, I don't remember which gems we have. Um, Blue orb, the 
Only when we have a split warp. Okay. So we need the other two to even to get across the wall. And we got to figure out how to get to the other two. <laughs> oh, this is a thing. Okay. All right. Okay, so that is not... Gotta melt that. Get across. Alright, Spetsa, I'm about to ask you to hit something again. I feel like this is the only thing I do with her character, is ask her to slap Thiff. Douse the fires of his rage. Okay. Oh, we want to go this way, please. Thank you. I mean, that one, just the hints, the riddle, gave you what you had to do. Hey. Okay, so that's what we do down there. Nothing across this puddle. I always forget, because in the other one it's parched and it's a water out of thing. This one is blow away. So this is where we get up there. Use whirlwind. No, stand right there. Jump across. Turn around. Use the frost. Cold snap. Whatever it's called. They could have just kept that one named frost. It does the exact same thing. There we go. Secret door? Yes, secret door. Alright, Tyrell, melt the thing so we can get across. Gear. So we don't have the map, but we found a good chunk of the Ember Gear without it anyway. Um, and now, go back to the boat. And by the time I get back to the boat, it'll be a good time to stop until next time. Um, so I think next time, we're going to go ahead and use the, um, the little doodad, the gem that we got, the thing that's making the echo signal off the top of our head on the map um, to find the siblings 
and see if we've got anything left to actually find. And hopefully in the process of finding everything, we will find the other two orbs because we need those to get across the wall. We're just gonna summon blast him. What was I saying? Yes. Because I know we need the other orbs to get across the wall. Mostly just because I remember that, not because I've actually told us anything useful about them in the game yet. I hate these things with a passion. Like, I don't mind, like, the little birds and the, the slimes and the kobolds and... It's these dark, evil skeleton things that I do not like. I need to make sure Brandy's not watching this because otherwise she's going to throw one of the QCP on me. stick with Team B for a little bit and let them get some practice and some screen time and Well, that's an interesting effect. Oh, that's one down. Yes. I like the way they animated all of these different things. Ooh, that can't be good. Oh good, she's unaffected. Oh, that's over by the wants. This one. There it goes, now it's down. Okay, we're trying to get down here, into the light. Yes, and we are into the light. All right, now we're headed back to the boat. Wait, my boat is up here. Yes, it's time to go. Sorry to part of the game. <coughs> Sorry!
sorry to bother you, Creighton, but something's been troubling me. Oh, what is that? Well, why didn't Noel come with you to Belensk? I was wondering when he'd get around to asking me that. And everything that's happened and all the peril and whatnot. Ah, uh, of course. She slipped your mind. I am ashamed, though. She is my sister. Well, I suspect she's a touch distracted herself by love rather than peril. No? In love? With who? <laughs> Captain Pierce. <laughs> that age gap. Oh. It's even worse that he knows her mom and everything. Pierce? Of the Warriors of Vale? When Pierce arrived to Ferias, she seemed especially vibrant. A glow, even. When I disembarked, she simply told me I'm going with Pierce. Pierce is a powerful adept, so she'll have a flying tutor, but they just sailed off together? Pierce is one of the most capable sailors in the world. I'm sure no harm will befall her. I had no idea. But I'm glad she didn't get tangled up in all this. She was always the lucky one. I wonder if you won't eventually think the opposite. Why? Where are they sailing to? We stayed here reflecting on every one of our worries. We'd never leave. Onward. Oh, <laughs> see, this is another one of those conversations that makes me think they originally had another game planned. And if you're out there and you're in charge of the other game, please make it. I would play it. Um, but until then, I think this is a great time to stop. Uh, and I will see you all next time.